And here's your Weather Extreme video for this Tuesday morning, July 28th. Meteorologist Bill Murray sitting in for James Fan, who's away on business today. He'll be back with a Weather Extreme video tomorrow. Let's start off by looking at some high temperatures across the area on Monday. Temperatures generally in the lower and middle 90s, maybe not quite as high as we thought they might be, uh, thanks to some showers that developed, especially in the Birmingham area. 92 at the Birmingham airport yesterday was the high, but temperatures cooled back quickly into the 70s as 1.26 inches of rain fell at the airport. And the interesting thing was these were showers not thunderstorms the activity not including very much if any in the way of lightning now the first thing we'll do this morning is uh, go back and look at the uh, rainfall also across the area graphically from the uh, river forecast center the national weather service has an interesting graphic that i like to show and you can see the track of the precipitation mainly across jefferson into eastern tuscaloosa county from those heavier showers yesterday in those areas in light green showing over one inch of rain including that 1.26 inches of rain that fell at the airport now the precipitation yesterday developed in an area of higher moisture we saw it uh, in the models we thought it would be there and it's pretty much what happened uh, showers and, uh, well really just showers developed in the i-20 and i-59 corridor and now we see that same area of moisture today pushed a little further to the south. So we think that the showers and thunderstorms, if they develop into thunderstorms, will be displaced a little to the south, perhaps in the I-85 corridor today. But we can't rule out a scattered shower or thunderstorm just about anywhere. Now temperatures across Alabama today should look about like this. We'll be in the lower and middle 90s. Some uh, of the hotter spots may uh, get to 96. It's going to be areas like Hamilton, Huntsville, probably Tuscaloosa, of course, normally a hot spot around 95 today. But pretty much everyone should be in that 92 to 95 range. The uh, coolest temperatures coming over northeast Alabama. If we look at the pattern at 500 millibars, up at about 18,000 feet, steering currents across the United States, we see a big ridge of high pressure centered over Oklahoma and Arkansas. And uh, that ridge is controlling most of our weather, keeping us mainly dry. Just a few showers and thunderstorms able to develop underneath it. But as we go uh, forward in time about 60 hours and look to Thursday morning, we would see the uh, ridge of high pressure still continuing to be strong from the Memphis area back into central New Mexico. But this ridge is beginning to break down over the southeast. You can begin to see the first signs of that in the upper air pattern. And by Saturday morning, um, we'll really see a trough developing over the eastern United States, and as you'll see later in the discussion, that trough could continue well into August, and that could spell some fairly nice temperatures for Alabama, at least not the blazing heat that we would normally come to expect in August. Now, here's the forecast for Friday, or for Thursday evening. From the GFS, you can see showers and thunderstorms over Tennessee, northern Georgia, northern Alabama. That's pretty much what we expect on Thursday. As rain chances begin to ramp up, that ridge breaks down, and uh, we begin to see some activity on the front side of that uh, ridge over Alabama in the southeast as that trough begins to take effect. As we move toward um, Friday night, we can see the showers and thunderstorms sinking a little further into the state, probably into the I-59 corridor. And as we see that, we'll see uh, those rain chances continuing to be fairly good. Now, the GFS predicts that this boundary will uh, push on into southeast Alabama on Saturday. Uh, that remains to be seen. That would be an unusual occurrence for this time of year. Uh, the GFS sometimes overdone in this uh, regard, and uh, that might be the case here. But if it does get to the south of your area, you could see fewer uh, showers and thunderstorms after its passage, and this is what the maps look like on Thursday. But now as we move out into voodoo territory, let's go out to uh, Friday, August the 7th, or really Thursday night, August the 6th, and you can see we have basically a full latitude trough over the eastern United States, Alabama on that um, eastern, on the western side of that trough, and that means cooler temperatures and the chance of some disturbances. There's one right there sliding into uh, western Missouri uh, on that Thursday night, and if that materializes, we could see complexes of showers and thunderstorms moving down into the state. Of course, we've been tracking the tropics. The National Hurricane Center is still not bullish on any activity. We've got a trough over the Gulf of Mexico, the Florida Peninsula, and into the western Atlantic, and that means some heavy rain for those areas. And we can't rule out a tropical cyclone developing in there, but the folks at the National Hurricane Center, and they get paid the big bucks to do this, they say no new tropical cyclones expected within the next five days in the Atlantic. That's your Weather Extreme video for this Tuesday, July 28th. James Spann will be back tomorrow with your Wednesday video. Have a great day, stay cool, and God bless.